Alright class, today we're gonna be learning how to speak Mexican. You're gonna need to know how to speak Mexican because one day you're gonna find yourself at a Mexican restaurant and the waiter's gonna bring you your food and say hot plate but you're gonna touch the plate anyway and burn your hand because you didn't understand what they said because they were speaking Mexican. So we're gonna learn how to speak Mexican. Any questions, Kras? Um, it's not called speaking Mexican, it's called speaking Spanish. Spanish, Mexican, same thing, Cody. What do they speak in Mexico? Mexican. See, it's that simple. Okay, well, what do they speak in Spain? Mexican. Wh what about Puerto Rico or Cuba? <sighs> they all speak Mexican, Cody, but we'll call it Spanish for you. You wrote Spanish on the board. All right, Kras, now I'll pay attention to Cody. He dumb, he not know Mexican. Anyway, class, does anyone know how to say hello in Spanish? What about you, smartass? The Spanish word for hello is hola. No, that's how you say hello in Hawaiian. I asked how you say hello in Mexican. I mean, Spanish. Yes. All right, so the way you say hello in Spanish is El hello -o. El hello -o, class. El hello -o. Guys, it's not even how you say hello in Spanish. Very good, Crass. Now that you all know how to say hello in Spanish, we're going to learn how to say bye in Spanish. The way you say bye in Spanish is... Adios. El bayo. God damn it. So, el hello, oh, Crass. Then when we leave, we say el bayo. What? Are you kidding me? You can't just add L and O to the beginning and end of every word and say it's Spanish now. All right, Crass. Now that you know how to say by in Spanish, you're probably wondering how do you say this by in Spanish. Well, it's very similar to this by, except this one is El Bayo. So, the difference between El Bayo and El Bayo is this by, you're gonna say it while you're waving. So, El Bayo and this by, you're gonna say it with money in your hand, like you're gonna buy something. El Bayo. What? What if you don't have any arms? That doesn't even make sense. Well, you better have arms if you go on to Mexico, Cody, or else no one's gonna understand you. All of this, pointless if you don't have arm. Arm is very important to the Mexican language. So, this buy and this buy, no one's gonna understand you if you don't have arm. Because they're gonna think you're trying to buy something and leave at the same time. Anyway, Crass. So, now that you know how to say Buy as in El Bayo and buy as in you're gonna buy something. Now you're probably wondering how do you say this buy? This buy is like this book was written by. The way you say this buy in Mexican is. Let me guess, is it El Bayo? Ah, no, very close, Cody, very close, but they different. The way you say buy in Spanish is. El Bayo. That's what I just said. Well, what you do with your hands is very important, Cody, because the way you say this by is El Bayo, and the way you say this by is El Bayo. You have to have money in your hand, Cody. All right, and then the way you say this by El Bayo, you must have book in your hand. See, book is written El Bayo, Dr. Seuss. Understand? No. Why don't we just learn regular Spanish? This is very complicated. I know, I know, Crass. Mexican can be very confusing. So let me use all three buys in a sentence to help you understand. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk into the library and say, El hero, -oh, Mrs. Librarian. I would like to El Bayo a book that was written El Bayo Dr. Seuss. She's gonna take your money, and now you own book. But before you leave, you're gonna set the book down and say, El Bayo, you cannot say El Bayo while holding book in your hand, or else you look like this. El Bayo, El Bayo, like, who wrote this fucking book? You know who wrote the fucking book. It says Dr. Seuss on the side of the book. So you have to put the book down and say, El Bayo, then you can pick the book back up and leave. Any questions, class? Yeah, I'm dropping out of this school. All right, class, we're running out of time. So we're gonna go through these last three very quickly. All right, the next word we have is name. How you say name in Mexican is, Nemo. 
Bingo was his name of very famous Spanish song. B I N G O. And bingo was his name of. The next word we have is yes. Does anyone know how to say yes in Spanish? Si. Sí. Come on, guys, I thought you were smarter than that. The way you say yes in Mexican is. El yeso. Everybody understand? Alright, the last word is no. Does anyone know how to say no in Spanish? Oh, I got it now. It's el no o. What? What? What kind of Spanish is that? Cody, you are so dumb. You have a lot of Spanish to be learning. The way you say no in Spanish is no. No mean no in all languages. How you be so stupid, El No? <laughs> Crappy, dumb! What, uh, oh, okay, oh yeah, that's fair. I was just putting L and O at the beginning and end of every word like you were. Oh, come on, Cody, this is getting really easy. Spanish is easy. Screw off, Junior. All right, Crass, I know some of you had trouble learning your Spanish today, but what I want you to do is tonight go to Mexican restaurant and try to test out your Spanish, see how far along you get. All right, and remember, if they say hot plate, that means Ow, no touch. Do not touch it or else you burn your hand. All right, I know we didn't get to food items today, 